Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nashley. Today I will be sharing with you my top five things I do to help me survive toddlerhood. My oldest daughter, she is two. She turned two in November and navigating life with her has been so much fun but it is a little bit challenging. There are certain things that have helped us navigate life a little bit easier. I also wanna preface by saying that no two toddlers are the same. Each kid is different, each parent is different. So if you find something that is useful and helpful, by all means use it. I would be more than happy and share it with me down below. Number one is so simple, have a routine. Having a routine sets a schedule for every day. There's very little unexpected and kids thrive off of routines. So, you know, we wake up the same time every day, breakfast around the same time and snacks. We play, we sing, we dance, we eat lunch, we take a nap, we wake up, we have a snack dinner. That way your toddler knows what to expect. There is uh, less room for spontaneity, which I feel like can trigger an outburst or a tantrum because kids don't necessarily like not knowing what's happening next. Of course, there's always exceptions to this rule because there are times that you're going to have to break that routine and it, it's just inevitable, right? Sometimes we have holidays, gatherings that we need to go to, doctor's appointments, just life. Life happens and we can't always stick to the same schedule. I make sure to communicate that with her. I tell her what we're doing, what's happening, and although you may think they don't understand what's happening quite yet, I think they actually really do. They understand what you're saying, and although maybe they don't understand how to control how they feel about it, um, at least they know what to expect. Kids are always happier when they know what's going to happen next. Number two is to include them. So often I found that when I needed to do things like sweep the floor or cook, my toddler was throwing tantrums left and right. I couldn't do things that I needed to do peacefully. I, I think she just wanted to feel incorporated. So include them. I have purchased this um, learning tower and I actually got mine from the Facebook market. Go ahead and check out your Facebook market because I have seen so many. I'm actually thinking about purchasing another one for my youngest one so that I have two. So when I'm cooking, my, to my toddler is crying, almost always. So I have started to incorporate her in this activity. So if I'm cutting things, I will have her like put the potatoes that I just cut into a container and I'll just do that, those kinds of small things I don't have her cutting anything just yet, although I did buy a wooden uh, cutter from Target from the dollar spot and she loved it, but it broke. <laughs> so I need to buy another one, but that's one way to incorporate them. I also purchased a broom and like a little broom for her that I also got at the Target dollar spot. You need to look through the Target dollar spot because often they incorporate things for little kids. So they did have like a mini broom, a mini mop. They have like a little sh like shovels and gardening tools and little baking supplies and just things like that that will help include your little ones in the activities that you do. She will actually be sweeping with me too. So I'll be sweeping and she's going right behind me just doing the same thing. And not only is that setting an example for her and she's learning about keeping uh, the area clean, taking care of your home, but she feels included and therefore no tantrums are in sight. Number three is safety. Toddlers have no sense of safety and they're constantly trying to unalive themselves and it is our job to keep them alive and safe. So in many places in my home, I have put in some safety strategies to increase the safety of my toddler. So for example, all of my doors that lead to the exterior of my home have some kind of child safety lock. And so these are locks that she can't reach and that are high quality. Um, they also really prevent unwanted people from coming in, um, let's say like in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna link them down below, but these are the locks that I use on my door and I also use this lock on my sliding door, which also has helped tremendously because my daughter opens all doors. I have also put in a door safety lock 
in her bedroom and I know that sounds bad but it's not necessarily a lock it's just like the cover that goes on the doorknob because she is opening all doors so in the middle of the night she was opening her bedroom door and escaping into the house so it becomes a safety issue so I did place that on her door and she no longer can escape in the middle of the night and be out in the house getting into who knows what I also have safety locks in my cabinets that have like the little magnet that you can hover over and it will unlock. The locks are hidden so it's out of sight and it's very effective. So they're not able to have access to those doors and cabinets that you don't want them to have access to. Number four, less is more. I have become a bit of a minimalist when it comes to kids stuff. It's a slow process because I we do still have a lot of things for the kids but I have a storage unit where they have put all of their toys and again it's not a lot of toys. I find that when everything is a little bit decluttered, when it's a little bit more tidy and things are organized and there's not so much of everything, it kind of creates a very neutral environment for your toddler. So I love that she has that opportunity to learn and be creative with a few toys. And let me tell you that I was also very overwhelmed when I had all the toys out on display. I had so many, they weren't playing with everything. It overwhelmed me as well. I felt overstimulated with noise, with sight, with just everything. So clearing things out, and just having the bare minimum has been just the absolute game changer and has helped us regulate our emotions better. And number five is to go outside. I know not everybody has the opportunity to do that right now because it's winter and it's cold, but we live in Florida and the weather is beautiful really all year round. So we do have the opportunity to go outside and play, go for walks. It is essential for sanity. Going outside, you get some of that sunshine and it helps with your sleep cycle as well. Differentiate between day and night. Your kids are more tired from playing outside. They nap better, they sleep better. When we're outside, there are so many different things to do. We're using all of our senses. You know, we're, we're touching different textures. We're seeing different things that we wouldn't see inside. We can smell different smells. You can taste stuff. My kids taste stuff all the time <laughs> outside, but you, you it's just incorporating so many of your senses. It is a very rich and stimulating activity just to go outside and even go for a walk. It's good for your health. It's good for your mental health. It's good for everybody. My kids barely cry when we're outside because they just, they love being outside. So it's just my go-to. When everybody's crying inside, we're throwing tantrums, Everybody's going outside, we're all going outside. <laughs> and it is a neutral zone. Everybody's mood improves when we go outside. So like I mentioned earlier, no two toddlers are the same. So some of the things that I say might not work for you, um, but maybe some will. And I will be more than happy if you use any of these things um, and it helps you. I know some of these things kind of seem obvious, but maybe we're not incorporating them into our day like we want to. I hope you guys found this video informational and useful. Please comment down below. Anything that helps you survive toddlerhood, I would love to read it and I'm sure everybody else would also love to get more ideas. Um, I do have more ideas, so if you want another video like this, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel for content like this and hit that bell notification so that you are the first to be notified when I post a new video. All right, you guys, wishing you the best and I will see you in the next one. Bye.